All right, folks, the deck is Death and Taxes Aggro Paladin. The goal of the deck is to use Call to Arms to summon a Far Watch Post and Narrow Bar Weblord to make our opponents mauled out of their minds. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle. Watch this! Called Arms is great against uh, aggressive demon hunters. It's probably odd. Yeah. Just play Odd Pally or Murloc Shaman. Oh, to counter it? I don't. I don't know that Odd Paladin would be that great into this deck. Welcome, Shadow One. Every matchup. Call to Arms is really good in this matchup. <laughs> it's true. It is true. I have said that many times. But uh, Twitch chat told me earlier that um, Call to Arms isn't the good thing in this deck. So, I don't know what I'm talking about, clearly. I've actually lost to Murloc Shaman twice with this deck. The only I've lost to it once, but only because they like just spiked a Flurgal at a really unfortunate time for me. Rude. Weapon ready. But it's better than that happening to me next turn when I want to play Call to Arms. Hey, Black Eagle. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Oh. <laughs> okay. Kind of weird, champ. Hey, I got you, friend. Wonder if they're gonna overreact to this uh, far watch post. <laughs> I kind of feel like the crabbo's the. Uh... Okay, not an overreaction. Yeah, they get to get it, kill it pretty cleanly, actually. Redemption? Oh my yog. We tried the new card that generates the custom golem yet. No. Um, I don't know where that can fit in a wild deck. Maybe like Reno Hunter? I grow impatient. That is an improvement for me. Even Shaman has been okay in my tests. Oh, if you do like a really low curve Even Shaman with Kazakus as your 4-drop? I could see that. I don't need the kings to land on this, so if they want to take that trade, I'm just fine with it. Just you wait till they play Baku to complete the side quest? Yeah, but if they play Baku to complete the side quest, at least they aren't pulling the Baku. So. Haven't tested out wild this expansion. Watch posts seem popular and standard so far. Have any other wild decks worked them in? Uh, not yet. I'm going to try a Rally Priest as well as like a similar... Uh, Death and Taxes concept and probably Demon Hunter again because that was the original Death and Taxes deck that I did with like to try and make Glide good, which it's not. Um, and so I might revisit that with a. Uh... Oh no! Okay. Well, I mean, we still did lose our grab, and they probably are going to get to attack there now.
I'm gonna buff up the tiny fin chat. Make it a tiny chad. Unfortunately, that means I have to hold the other one. Wait, they've actually got some serious synergy between Firewatch Post and the um, Strength and Numbers. That's some H my head. I grow impatient. Well, we're out of minions. Uh, Christology doesn't seem too good here, but we've got uh, get some defense going. Oh no, a mana burn! I don't have any cards that like <laughs> use all of my mana here. Yeah, just buff this boy. Good draw. Your soul shall be mine. I will fight with honor. One, two, coin four. I think I would rather have the weblord because it's very like it's day one for a new season. People are climbing, they're tryharding, they're playing Dark Glare, so Weblord on two is better. And if we can deny some of those buffs, we should be good. There is so much untapped power in this world. Okay. Not the matchup I thought it was. But <laughs> Um, the watch post is still pretty good here. They might spend a soul fire on it. Here it comes. One mana draw four. Or one mana draw three, but like, unironically. <laughs> oh my god. That was brutal. Okay. I'm gonna need to hit a crabo off. Oh, double call to arms? Are you kidding me? How is this even legal? Why draw a card instead of playing a free free flame imp? Could they play the free flame imp? It went to two mana with the uh, the watch post, right? Unless they didn't or they soul fired before the uh solar am, right? No wasp, watch post Sag. I don't need uh, watch post right now. I need minions that um, can help me not lose. Need the second Crabo here too. Beautiful. It's just like a race to fatigue at this point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is silly. Discard doesn't run the new Altar of Fire, right? What? No, why would they? What? That card doesn't do anything, especially in a tempo deck. I don't think any deck wants to run Altar of Fire, unless you're, like, specifically building around it. So many possibilities. I mean, Discard also really shouldn't be running Heckfire, but here we are.
Never Surrender is good because it protects against uh, the second Soul Fire. Now we've seen both Soul Fires. Can you build a deck around Altar of Fire? I mean, I plan to. It's just, like, it's not a good card. Fisted. But also, four mana. Maybe Mechathun? I don't think Mechathun. Like, Mechathun can get through its deck a lot faster than that with just Hemet. It doesn't want to run Ultra of Fire. Spooter Tanks, thank you for the Prime. I could die here. This is really weird. Ten. What are you trying to do to me? Are you kidding? <laughs> Why do you call? Oh my god. Get, no, don't have the discard card, please. The one mana AoE buff. He's up, Arthas. You're a little over eager there, buddy. I don't know if I play this on one. I think I will. They're not going to coin until turn three anyway, so I have another chance at the uh, Sword of the Fallen. I might be able to, like, snake something else gross off of this. Other than just the coin. Going face was the most fun play, and the whole point of the game is to have fun? Nah. Going face is not. It was just generally not a good play there. Hey, Grosso. Oh, is it hand buff? Maybe I'm playing this then? They will never nope, me. I'll just kill that. It's better than giving up the shield on the mini bot for free, I think. They're definitely running call to arms. Never surrender, redemption. Redemption's pretty good with this on the board. And then next turn we just rip the call. Cat, thank you for the under bits. My man, climbing in a new month. Have some bits on the first of the month in hopes of dodging the fools of April. So far, so good. Thank you for that support, though. I think the opponent's playing like a more fair version of what we're going for. That's actually a great draw because I really want to hit the Oh My Yog going into their uh, Call to Arms turn. Enjoy your next turn, friend. The only unfortunate thing is this conviction is uh is not looking too great. <laughs> Dark Pandemonium. Thank you for continuing that gift sub. Nope. A rogue secret, but that's illegal. Nope, I changed my mind. It's perfectly legal. You are past redemption. The battle is over. You win. I will fight with honor. I think having an early crab rider is potentially game winning. So, like it just single handedly deals with their turn one righteous protector, and then we can protect it with the uh, our own righteous protector if they do have a. That is their turn one? Okay. Well now what we can do is just spike it on two and then slam a Blessing of Kings on it. That also seems quite strong. Would Raza get this deck? No, Raza only understands cost reduction, not cost increase, so he would be confused by it.
Alright, I'm gonna slow it down here. That's what this deck does. I'm just gonna play my game plan rather than the opponent's. This deck needs Plate Breaker? It has one. It's um, Crab Rider with a Blessing of Kings. That looks an awful lot like a um, Plate Breaker to me. Scratch that. Uh, two Blessing of Kings. Set up Lethal for next turn. Ballistic, thank you for the two months. I've been watching your YouTube for so your content, so I figured you deserved a sub. Thank you for the great content. Also, uh, do you have a list for Face Priest in Wild? Uh, not yet, but first of all, thank you for that uh, support. Glad you're liking the content. But ah! <laughs> uh, but the next deck I plan to play is a um, is like an aggressive rally priest. I hope you get a good Murloc. As a big boy Crabbo. This is my moment. I will fight with honor. Agro Priest with Undertaker is pretty fun. That's what I'm planning on doing. I can't keep the hand of a doll without a one drop, and I only have the um Righteous Protector, so it's unlikely. I'd rather just find the call to arms and then miss and then cry. Oh my god. <laughs> Double crab with this hand? Are you kidding me? Slow down their draws here. Uh, since it, I've, I was expecting Big Priest against Big Priest, we want to go fast. Against uh, Reno, I think we want to slow them down. Hey, loser. Hey, loser. Hey, loser. I have the divine favor if uh, the opponent's still alive. Missed one damage. Oh, well. It seems as though I've lost because uh, Twitch chat noticed I missed one damage. I need the sword here. Miss second conviction. I know. Second conviction would have uh, been the <laughs> been a big oof. Chat that one damage I missed. I don't. I get. I, I don't think these are the cards we want. We just assume it's Dark Glare or Disco, and either way, like, um, Minibot's good if it's Disco, but probably not so much if it's uh, Dark Glare. Have you ever tried not drawing poorly versus Pirates? Well, we're drawing poorly this game as well, so just rip a turn one conviction. I don't think turn one is when we want to play Oh My Yog.
Well, we just drew a lot better. Is there a deck you think will be top tier and wild for this expansion? Uh, yes. There is always a top tier deck. So we made them use a PO. So they're pretty stinky. Oh wait, that would be PU. I know my alphabet. You find opponents emote you a lot more than they would a normal player. I am a normal player though. Ooh, overload. Get wrecked. Hey big D gamer boy. Hello. For justice. Um, it's less mana efficient, but I'm gonna go here. And I'm still just gonna hold this. Uh, yeah, I'll hold it. I think it gets better later. Hey, loser! Nope! Let's see what the secret is. I'm kind of tempted to try and get the uh, web lord down here. Is that crazy? No. Forget a redemption down anyway. Uh, on the follow up, giants rush. Well, you can't um, get a very good broom with the uh, web lord. Is why I wanted to get the web lord down. Oh, good. Oh, my yog. Hopefully. I think that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. Six, uh, ten, and you just need a little bit more. I need exactly zero damage. Never mind. I'm gonna keep the sword here. None will survive. I think we did it, chat. Miss your turn one. The light dims, but we okay. Fight. I want to get the sword down this turn. I think. No, I'm just gonna get the watch post down for the meme. Uh, but I probably do play the first sword, the sword over the uh. The watch post to try and protect it. Maybe not. Reporting for duty. It's just funny. I mean, if they want to trade into it, that's their board, so. Reporting for duty. Bye, board! It's nice knowing you. <laughs> uh, killing two both dudes is probably better than just the one and getting a secret here. I don't want them to be able to touch my watch post. Next turn we can go a hand of a doll in the sword and just extend the misery. Opponent molding? That's the idea. For duty. Okay, maybe we go here instead then. Oh my god, they're gonna <laughs> They're still trying, chat. I mean we just play the card as soon as we draw it, right? Boop. 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 <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> uh, missed one damage? Yeah. We saw how impactful that was last game.
for justice. The light is the victory is yours. This is my moment. I will fight with honor. Exclamation point priest. Oh, my Yogg seems okay in this matchup. Just want to go fast. Aquarium Junkie. Thank you for the prime. Now that's a good addiction to have. Although, if you're maybe it's building aquariums, in which case that might get expensive. Uh, Divine Favor is historically very good into priests. You're just giving me that for free? Well, I was gonna sword that, but now I don't have to. And also this. Visiting them is also expensive. Yeah, but some of them have like uh, seasonal passes, you know? Nope. Okay. Kings is lethal. Dodge to the Reno and we're fine. Abyss your own face. Cold blood my minion. Cold blood my minion? Oh. Found a mage. You asked for it. I will fight with honor. Uh, Weblord is unironically very good in this matchup, right? So I think I'm going to coin out the Weblord as it currently stands. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Alright. Never lackey into fair game, please. Wait, are they quest? Okay. Oh, no, okay. Um, it's Waker Mage. I think Hijo just got rank one with this. So the, um, the Oh My Yogs are more important than most other things. Wait, what? No, it is Seeker Mage. Or at least it appears to be. go here and here. Should have done that in the other order, but I do want to get a secret down. Oh, my Yogg is the one I wanted. It's just Ice Block, it's Waker. Uh, Waker doesn't run Ice Block, though. Could be, um... Oh, it looks like uh, he just does run one copy of Ice Block. Your double Ice Block. Okay. It is different than the version I was playing. Kind of feel like I should break that ice block ASAP as possible, which means going Conviction into Blessing of Kings next turn with these on the board. Got to never surrender, which is good, into a Waker turn. Yep. 
You just go here into redemption now. Did you check for counterspell? It's not ever counterspell there. So I didn't feel like it was worthwhile to do so. Oh, my Yogg is fantastic. Because I need to break the... Oh, that's... what? I assume that's to get the um, Sorcerer's Apprentice, but that seems really bad. If I use the Divine Shield, it's better into, um, Waker. I do know it wasn't Counterspell, because this deck doesn't run Counterspell. And we... and they still have the Primal Glyph cards in hand. Easy. Uh, so that was what? Two hours and 20 minutes to Diamond 5? Thank you to legendary patrons Anonymous Toast, Fizzle Jizzix, Jeffrey Pierce, Justice Crater, Keys404, Noggleshire, Shadow1TV, Sognisman, and Vanfix.